Hello everybody. I have been away for a very long time and I do apologize for that. Today I am working on Adeline by Diamond Art Club. She is a 31 and a half by 27.6 or an 80 by 70 centimeter. Uh, she has two ABs, but that's how she's looking. I'm trying to get her done before we leave on vacation so that when I come back, I can start on drills and chills. So, yep, Adeline by Michael Jelena. Love Michael Jelena's work. Anyway, sorry I've been gone for so long. Um, life. The new puppy has taken over my life. Uh, my daughter came home from college, and so summer was kind of ruled by her. And uh, then we had the pear harvesting season, where I made a bunch of jellies and jam. Well, mainly jams. Um, and uh, canned some pears and froze some pears and gave a bunch of stuff away. And... Uh, our oldest daughter got engaged, so yay! We love the young man she's ma going to marry. Um, he's the son we never had, so we're happy about that. Um, we took our youngest back to college last week, so I have me time again. Yay! <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Um, it's been an unusual summer here in South Texas. We've had a lot of rain this summer, which is unusual for us, but it's nice. It hasn't been 120. Um, I understand all the heat is staying up north, and I apologize to you northerners. Um, but I haven't missed it. I think we've only had maybe a couple of 100 degree days down here this summer, and that's odd. And I really hate saying that because now I'm scared I'm going to jinx it, and the last part of summer is going to suck. Um... But it's been nice. Um, with all the rain, we were able to get um, two hay harvests in. So um, that's nice. Uh, we got a bunch of squ uh, round bales. And my husband just cut uh, for the second time. And we're doing those as square bales. Because we use our square, square hay bales to basically keep our cows tame. Um, they know if they hear us moving around in the hay shed, that means food for them. And so they come running, which helps us with, you know, keeping track of them, making sure no one's injured or hurt, um, being able to uh, separate those that we need to sell, um, being able to give vaccines and things, you know, fly treatment, blah, blah, blah. Everything that comes with taking care of cows. So <clears throat> we like to keep our... Our hay, bed, our hay shed full. We did have it empty for a while, which was nice because we were able to do, or my husband, I just kind of stood by on fire duty to make sure no fires got started while he was welding and fixing pieces that, you know, the cows managed to break because that's what cows do. They go in and they rough things up and they break things. So uh, we had to do some welding on the feeding troughs. Um, and so we got that done. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been, it's been a summer. So I don't know. I'm really loving this painting. Um, as you see me work, you'll notice I don't really worry about too much the lining up because it all comes out together in the end. That's the good thing about squares. They kind of fix themselves. Um, the pens I am using, um, my mom got me this one. I call it my St. Louis Blues pen. And then I bought myself this one because I love purple. My daughter's college colors are purple. Um, so yeah, it kind of fit. These are both from BFF Diamond Painting pens. Um, they're real good. They're real quick. Um. How I use them is I have a four placer on this side and a six place or a seven placer on this side. I have a seven placer here, but I don't really use it. I use this more for like straightening things out. And then I have a single placer here and I just go back and forth between the two. Um, the tray is what comes in the kit from Diamond Art Club. 
And these are the containers I use. I got them off of Amazon. It's the 60 slot containers. You can find them anywhere on Amazon. And I just take the little stickers that they give us now on Diamond Art Club, peel them off, put them on a little piece of washi tape. And that's how I mark my containers. It's really quick and simple and I like it. What was I doing? Oh, excuse me. It, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It is four o'clock and I'm already yawning, y'all. Mm. It hasn't even been a busy day. I burned trash this morning because that's what you do when you live out in the country and don't have access to garbage uh, pickup. So I burned trash this morning, played with my puppy some. Um, I don't remember. I'll have to look back to see when my last video was because y'all, it's been a while and I know and I apologize. But I have a dog, an inside dog. I won that battle. Um, her name is Tribbles. She's a Havanese. She's a small Havanese. Um, she only weighs like nine pounds. She can't even jump up on the couch, which is precious. So she has to sit there and look at us like, please, mommy, please, daddy, can I get up on the couch? But yeah, she, she takes up a lot of our time. Um, it's like having a baby in the house again. So it's been good. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. It is August 19th, y'all. August, which means September's coming and temperatures should be cooling. I'm excited for fall, y'all. I've been doing some uh, crafty stuff, getting ready for fall slash Thanksgiving uh, slash Halloween. <laughs> Halloween and Christmas are my two favorite holidays. I love to decorate for them. Um... My husband and I are having Thanksgiving at our house this year. Everybody in our family is vaccinated, so we're good with that. Um, don't need your opinion on it. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, it's been good. Um, my daughter is in her last semester at college. And then, she, well, she technically has two semesters, but only one of them is actually at college. The other one, she'll be student teaching here. We're where we live um so yay that's exciting she gets to come back home for good so we're excited about that she's in the color guard at her college which means uh, for those that don't know what color guard is they're the ones out on the field tossing the flags and having a grand old time she's done it since high school she loves it she hopes that wherever she ends up teaching she can coach color guard um so she's excited about that she wants to be a high school english teacher she is all of 5'2". Uh, <laughs> she's the little one in our family, but she's spunky. Spunky, spunky. So we'll see how the kids react to a teacher who looks their age. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. But she's ready. She's ready to be done with school and start her career. Um... She wants to live in the Austin area because she loves big cities and that is not where we are. And uh, it'd be beneficial for her boyfriend too, who is trying to, I don't know exactly what it is, something about music, you know, behind the scenes music, recording. I don't know. Is that sad that I don't know what he does? I think it is. But... It is what it is. You know, he lives five hours away. They met in college. Uh, we like his family. We like him. So, it's all good. If I don't understand exactly what he does, it's not a big deal. I don't need to know what he does. As long as he makes my daughter happy and takes care of her. I mean, she can take care of herself. Don't get me wrong. But, you know what I mean. So, my husband's at work today. woo -hoo case um i haven't mentioned before he is a firefighter so he works one day and he's off two it's 24 on 48 off he has three more years and then he can retire he his first full day of retirement will be january 1st 2025 so a little over three years we're excited excited we can't wait. We have big plans. We'll see if they happen or not. I keep fighting with him because he wants to grow our cattle herd. And I'm like, no. 
no sir uh-uh i want to be able to leave this farm once you retire i want to be able to go do things no no we are not growing the herd so that we have to stay and manage them no 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 so uh, we have our property set up so that you know we can have them in different areas and put a round bell out and leave them for a while or two you know and if we get more cows then that's just more work and there goes all my hopes and dreams. So, um, I got into diamond painting because I was uh, I follow this couple, Ken and Sean, on YouTube, and they do uh, chalk couture, and which is you know how I you know I do some of my decorating that way. And uh, mainly seasonal. I don't, my everyday decorations are done. It's what comes out every year. It's what's there all year long except the holidays. Anyways, so I was watching them and Sean showed a picture of these um, koi fish that he was going to do in a diamond painting. And I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And, you know, I was a, I'm a bored housewife. So I looked it up and I bought from some cheaper companies to begin with. And my first diamond painting was of a, a blue ice dragon for my youngest daughter. And it was okay. You have to stand really far back to see the image. Not just a normal distance like we can with some of these diamond paintings. But, I mean, you had to stay far away. Um, and I had to seal it because drills were popping and stuff, but I still enjoyed it. It was fun. So I did from the same company for my other daughter and for her youth boyfriend at the time, now fiance. Uh, y'all, I'll have to tell that story in a minute. Anyways, and then I heard about Diamond Art Club. And that is where I, my loyalty lies. I, uh, haven't really tried anyone else. I know there's a lot of new companies coming out and a lot of them, you know, the reviews from other crafters are great and wonderful. I just, I'm scared y'all. I have found my company and I don't want to be disappointed if I try from somewhere else. <laughs> um, no, I, I did try, let's see, I sent it to my cousin, so I don't remember where I got it from, um. It's in one of my other YouTube videos, uh, Blue Girl. I did her from somewhere else, just because she reminded me of my cousin so much. Um, but yeah. So that's how I got into diamond painting. I saw somebody else open one, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. I'd never heard of it before that. And I was like, I can do that. Sure. And here I am. Now, I have the one I'm working on. Hold on, I'm counting my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have this one plus nine in my stash. So I don't have a huge stash like I know some people do. And y'all go for it. That would stress me out. The nine stress me out. Um, but I, I've got... The one that I'm going to do next, I'll do an unboxing of it later, uh, Warm Witch by DAC. That's going to be my drills and chills. I'm excited. This is my first year participating in uh, any drill along because I never seem to have the right canvas and I always get tuned into these things a little late. Y'all, I am, I live in my own little, this doesn't want to work. I live in my own little world out here in the country. I mind my business. I don't talk to nobody. <laughs> I have my salt malt circle of friends and, you know, they're busy with their farms and their families. And so, you know, I, and I'm the only one in my family or my friends circle that does stuff like this. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to be joining in drills and chills. I'll be starting late. Um, I won't start till September 6th, I believe, or maybe 5th, but
but uh, I'll be there, and it won't take me two months to do that canvas. I ain't worried about it. But I heard from Jade. She's a, a, a young lady I, I follow on YouTube. Um, something about a, a witch along. And I think my warm witch would go with that too. So I might be, if I can find it, I'm going to try to participate in that one too. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can find it. But yeah, I'm sure like most of y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But for me, when I started, hold on, I'm counting in my head. When I started diamond painting, I went to find the people already on YouTube doing it. And of course, I found Stitcher Easter right away. And then I found Miss Crochet and Coffee, who I love. Um, and uh, she's, she, she, she knows me deep down inside. That's she, She's me, just in another world. Um, we have the same sense of humor and the same don't start your crap with me attitude. So, um, yeah. And then through them, I found Rachel Ray, who is like the sweetest person in the world. So, yeah, they just enabled the addiction more. And of course, then they, you know, enable you into other things like cross stitching. I haven't cross stitched since I was a kid. I'm 44 <laughs> and uh, I just kept seeing all these beautiful works of art and I was like why not pick up another hobby yeah because I have all the time in the world sure and while you're at it why not go big and do a heaven and earth design full coverage you know 89 colors so I am because I have fallen in love with Hannah Lynn's work. I have her coloring books and uh, I have a few of her diamond paintings, but one of the ones, one of her pieces of art that I really wanted to do, and I am impatient to wait for it to come out in a diamond painting, is the Library Fairy. So I got that over on Heaven and Earth Designs, and that's what I'm working on now. Y'all, I started that on my mom's birthday, May 28th. Uh, last week, <laughs> I finished page one. I, I, I don't know what got into me, but I figure it's going to be a labor of love and it's huge and it will hang here in my craft room when I am done 20 years from now. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't have to be done tomorrow. So that's what I do in the evenings when I'm out in the living room with my family watching TV. I cross stitch um, otherwise I'm back here in my craft room which is my oldest daughter's former bedroom when she moved out I claimed it it's mine she can't have it back so this is my craft room where I uh, diamond paint I do uh, chalk tour stuff I scrapbook and um, Pretty soon, I'll be making my daughter's wedding invitations. Yay! So, we're excited about that. Okay, my daughter's engagement. So, she has been with this wonderful young man since she took our youngest daughter out for her 18th birthday. My youngest daughter is now 22. So, that's four years. And, uh, you know, we've been waiting waiting and waiting but you know things don't move like they did when I was young you know these these kids take their time which is great get to know each other all that good hoorah hoopla which is wonderful um and so you know we've been teasing you know hey when you gonna pop the question you know and if if he says things you know about how he thinks things should be done or whatever you know in regards to our family or my daughter or whatever you know nothing mean just you know him putting his two cents in we're like mm, there's no ring on that finger you don't have no say because <laughs> that's how we are we're that family um and so he would always turn bright red and everything and he's just the sweetest guy he treats her like a queen and we can't ask for any better than that 
Um, just love her and let her be herself. And that's all we ask for. But uh, last November, we went with him and my daughter. She wanted to buy her first car. And she just wanted us as support, you know, make sure she was asking all the right questions, make sure she wasn't getting screwed over, you know, things like that. He was going as a negotiator because that man can negotiate prices like there's nobody's business. Um, so we went and we looked at some cars and stuff and then uh, we had to take a little break. So we stopped at a, I don't know if y'all ever heard of Bucky's if you're not from Texas. I, I don't know how far Bucky stretches. Anyways, it's this gas station slash shopping center that has the cleanest restrooms in Texas, as they boast. And so uh, we stopped there. And uh, while we had him alone for a few minutes, <laughs> my husband and I kind of ganged up on him and said, so when are you going to marry our daughter? And he's like, actually, I was waiting for a time to get you alone so I could ask for your permission. We were so excited. So he sat there and talked about why he loved our daughter and why he loved our family and all this wonderful gooey stuff. And I was crying and my, you know, my husband was all excited and everything. And then the daughter came back around. So we had to button it up and everything. So we've known since November. And, uh, you know, he had his mom help him get a ring and everything. And, uh, so he wanted to wait. His brother lives up in Canada. So he wanted to wait till his brother could come down, you know, COVID. Because he wanted to ask her with family all around. So July, last month, we all got together and we hid in various locations. And, you know, it was my husband and I. My my youngest daughter, which I've got a funny story about that, too. And uh, his mom and dad and his brother and his sister and uh, my mom and my husband's parents. We were all there. And uh, he brings her and he gets her in the spot and everything. And he asked her to marry him and it was all great. And we all went out to lunch together afterwards. And now we're all one big happy family. We love his parents. They're the sweetest people ever. So, you know, it's, it's going to be good. Um, but my youngest daughter, you know, we hadn't, we, this was the best kept secret ever. We didn't tell anybody anything. We didn't let anybody know that there was a proposal coming anytime soon. So, you know, we kept this a secret and, uh, my daughter came out cause he proposed on a Sunday. So we were going to church that morning and my youngest comes out in a pair of overalls and this white wrinkly shirt <laughs> and I was like you know I'm in a nice dress my husband's dressed nice and I looked at her I said no you need to go change and she's like no there is nothing wrong with this this is perfectly fine for church and I'm like no you need to go change and she's like no she goes this is fine for church she's very stubborn and I looked at her and I said your sister is getting engaged today go change and she stopped and you could tell it took like two seconds for it to process what I said. And then she went and turned around and ran. That girl went from, you know, looking everyday nice to, you know, engagement photo ready in 30 minutes. I was quite impressed. And so she was like, oh my God, why didn't you tell me last night I could have had this all planned? We're like, those loose lips sink ships. Because it was a surprise for my oldest daughter, you know. She said, you know, after the proposal and everything, she said she thought he was getting her a dog. <laughs> so it was great. It was wonderful. One of the best moments of my life. My baby's growing up and getting married. Ah. So yeah, now we have a wedding to plan. So luckily we have time to do it. They, you know, want to let this... Uh, thing hopefully run its course so they're not looking to tie the knot until 23 which is fine that gives us plenty of time to pick the right venue and all that good stuff and so they we moved them into a house beginning of july yeah or was it june 
one of those J months in the summer, <laughs> we moved them into a house. So uh, she's still working from home. So she has a home office that she works out of. Uh, he teaches. So he went back to school a couple weeks ago. And uh, they're just living their best lives. It's great. I, it, it makes me proud to see my kids doing well and being happy. You know, it tells me that somewhere along the line, I, we did a good job. So, yeah, always a proud parent moment when you see your, your child doing well in life. Um, we moved, my mom, uh, who just turned 69 this year, um, she, when I married my husband, Back in 98, she bought a uh, house with a little bit of property because, you know, her and I had been living together till then. And, uh, you know, she's kind of, she's not out in the country, but not in the city limits. So a lot of, you know, rules that would apply in a city neighborhood didn't really apply in her neighborhood and she started you know the strays started piling up to the point where one time she had to call the cops because this dog had her trapped in her driveway anytime she would move it would growl at her so she had to call the cops to come get the dog um so she couldn't even really go out of her house anymore you know to go walk or anything she didn't feel safe and then she got these loud neighbors that moved in that decided you know it was a party every night and she said she could feel the bass in her house. And so she wasn't getting good sleep. And, you know, she has uh, heart issues. You know, she's had two valve replacements. I can't. The last one was a couple of years ago. And I don't remember how long the other one was. Um, my, my, my girls were tiny the first time she had one. Um, so, you know. So she decided that, you know, because of the whole blah that's going on right now, you know, she didn't have a job and my mom is a very big people person, you know, and she was not doing well being isolated at home. So once she got her shots, she decided her best move for her was to move into a senior living community. So she's got this really nice apartment in this brand new apartment building. Oh, it's so nice. All wood floors, granite countertops. Uh, she's got a pool and a walking park and everything. So, you know, I told her, don't, you know, she had enough money in the savings. I'm like, don't sell your house right away. Give it six months. Make sure this is what you really like. You know, you've got enough in savings to live for a couple of years without having to sell your house. So make sure it's what you really like uh, before we do anything drastic. <laughs> and uh, then we'll go from there. But she is loving it, you know. And I just popped drills everywhere. Drills went flying. Oh my gosh. Tack of the flying drills. When you press too hard. On your drill tray anyway she's loving it um i've gone from getting uh you know 20 or so text slash phone calls from my mom a day to maybe two she's made a lot of new friends they have lots of activities they have breakfast every morning down in the main area um so you know they do something different every day and it's a very secure building you have to have a, a code to get in the gates and <laughs> I was now you know how in some apartment complexes you know you can just wait and somebody will come in or out and you can just slip in right yeah so secure uh, but uh, we were going one day to meet my mom and uh, I didn't know the code to get in and so I was you know trying to contact no 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 we were going to meet with the agent about signing papers for her to move in that's what it was so mom didn't have the key code yet. And uh, so we're sitting there and we're trying to get to, you know, we're trying to call up the office and no one's answering. And this lady comes by 
but she doesn't draw up close enough to the gate to open the gate. She's just sitting there looking at us. And then she drives past without opening the gate. She's still in the apartment complex parking lot. Drives past and goes and sits in a parking spot until we get a hold of somebody that lets us in. She was not going to let us in. It was great. I loved it. I was like, okay, that makes me feel good about my mom living here. And then, so if you are lucky enough to get in the gate, you can't get in the building without a key card. So, yeah, that's nice. So I know my mom is nice and safe where she's at. Um, and it makes me feel good that she's making friends and she's visiting with people. She gets to be her bubbly, people-y person. I am not, I don't know. It skipped me. I am not a people person. I am perfectly happy here. All by myself. All by myself. I got things I can do to occupy my time. I can read a book. I can craft. I can just sit there and do nothing. I don't care. <laughs> I don't need to do anything. You know? I'm good. So, but my mom's always been a people person. She was in the restaurant. She was a restaurant manager at different restaurants, you know, but she did restaurant management for 30 years and she loved it. She loved meeting new people and talking to people and yeah, not me. Just let me live my life. I'm happy. I don't need to know you. I don't need to know your story. <laughs> I do like hearing other people. I love listening to my favorite YouTubers on Facebook, on YouTube, and hearing about their days and stuff. But uh, as far as, you know, maybe actually going out to meet them, mm, I don't know. I'm happy here in my house. So people will, you know, I'll see people at church and they'll be like, oh my gosh, what did you think about blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh my God, did that happen? And they're like, you didn't know? Nope. I'm in my own little world out there. I know nothing nothing i am 30 minutes from everything y'all my closest neighbor i know i've talked about this before but my closest neighbor is three miles away i know nothing don't need to know nothing if it ain't my business i don't care so yeah that's just how it is almost finished with this color uh oh, I felt a loose drill somewhere. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Get back in there, Mr. 310. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in here, do a little work on my piece, let y'all know. I'm Not that I have followers yet, but you know, for posterity. Uh, I'm back. And I'm going to try to come in here at least once a week. Um, I will be on vacation soon. So, you know, that week will be a miss. But uh, I'm here. I'm back. Again, I'm working on Adeline by Micah Jelena from Diamond Art Club. Uh, let me see if I can... Well, let me put these drills away before I spill them everywhere. And then I'll lower her down and let you get a look at what I've got done. I'm almost done with her. Um, I try to do two sections a day so that I'm done before I leave on vacation. The saw. Um, I got this light pad off of Amazon. It's a 30 by 42. I think it's an A2. I think that's what it is. I got this desk off of Amazon. I have room for all my crappy stuff, no matter what I'm doing. So there's Adeline. We zoomed. She's so pretty. I am loving her. So good. So good. Let me show you the. You see the little duckies? Aren't they cute? And the little lemon tree. So cute. But yep, she's going to hang up in here somewhere. I'll clean my craft room one of these days and take you on a tour of it. But today is not that day. No, no. No, no. 
And, um, sorry, I crack my knuckles. I know, it's a bad habit. That is my, uh, gun range target. So, yeah, don't come at me. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, I have the right to bear arms and I live in the country where I have snakes and other, you know, creatures that, you know, want to eat things that I have, like my chickens and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So I have to shoot. But anyways, Adeline by Michael Jelena. She is so cute. Just dropped everything. I love her little freckles. And the sparkle. Do you see that sparkle? The sparkle. Oh, it's so pretty. Love it. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.